What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're back with another wrestling gifts reaction. Hulk Hogan needs to be stopped. Now, I have been hearing some things about Hulk Hogan that's been going on for the past few weeks. Um, I believe he was on the Joe Rogan podcast not too long ago, recently. And apparently, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess some of the rumors were he was... He's been lying about certain stuff. I'm not sure what the hell is going on right now, but we're going to check it out. Wrestling Gifts uh, apparently talked about it. And if you haven't already subscribed to Wrestling Gifts, what are you doing? Um, link the original video down below in the description. Go subscribe to Wrestling Gifts. He makes some great wrestling related content. So I had to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. We're just going to get right into this one. See what the hell Hulk Hogan's talking about. Hulk Hogan is no doubt one of the most successful oh, wrestlers of all time. He is a true icon. He is the man who helped make wrestling what it is today. And Hogan has done it all in his life. Broken records, wrestled all around the world against the greats, been in movies, made hundreds of millions of dollars, and even after all the controversy, his place as a legend will forever be cemented. But For sure. despite that, despite being on the Mount Rushmore of wrestling, despite being a true pop culture icon who has done it all, despite being one of the most recognizable wait, 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 people- Wait, 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 we're not gonna your icon who has done it all despite being a racist i appreciate you wrestling gift for putting that in there you know what i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm doing this live i'm just give a like just off that little one second frame right here <laughs> hulk hogan we coming for you despite being one of the most recognizable people in the world mm. this idiot cannot stop lying Hulk Hogan is now 70 years old, and even after living a life that we could only dream of, this mm -hmm. bozo for some reason cannot stop capping. It has been a common thing for the Hulkster for his entire career. Stories of lies, politicking, backstabbing, you name it, which in the wrestling world is nothing new. But even now in 2023, after his career is behind him, even though now it's time to ride off into the sunset and just live his life, mm -hmm. he still has this need to lie about anything and everything and just lie about the most ridiculous shit. Last week, Clips of Hulk Hogan appearing in the Joe Rogan podcast went viral on Twitter, and tons of people for the first time ever finally became aware of Hogan's legendary fables. Yo, this three hour podcast was filled with some of the most BS stories you could possibly imagine, <laughs> but nothing, nothing was more insane than the story of Hulk Hogan and the Make a Wish Kid. Hogan told the story to Joe Rogan of this one time how he was in London, England at Wembley Stadium, and alongside Michael Jackson and Mr. T, yes, Michael Jackson, he was backstage meeting Make a Wish kids and he apparently saw this one kid backstage who was in real bad shape and who was a huge hulkamaniac and he basically told the kid who was dying that he was able to get in front row seats to watch the rest of the show and he says quote so i went to wrestle and i kept looking i kept looking and the kid wasn't there so when i came back from wrestling i was the last person to wrestle in the main event i said what happened to the family out there brother they said the kid passed away. So apparently this kid dies during the show and then Hogan goes on to say how those tragic events led him to making and releasing a song titled Hulkster in Heaven. A song that yes actually does exist and features lyrics such as I read it in the papers I saw it on TV I guess it'll be one empty seat When I wrestle it when we'll and on the surface, it's what? like, wow, what a beautiful story. What a great tribute song. You know, it's a really sad story, but props to the Hulkster for, you know, going out of his way. Uh, until you realize Hulk Hogan has never wrestled in Wembley Stadium in his life. The only WWE show that oh ever took place at Wembley Stadium God. was SummerSlam 1992. And of course, and of course, Hulk Hogan wasn't even with the company at the time, let alone on the show, let alone in the main event. And most of all, ladies and gentlemen, why the f would Michael Jackson be there? This guy really made Whoa. up a story to sell a song, and yet 31 years later, he's still sharing the same story for some reason to come off as the superhero. And it's like, Hogan, you have done a lot of charity. Wow. That's crazy. It's like he's sticking to the to the gimmick. Like, yeah, I'm a good guy. But you wasn't there, Hulk. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? So this is what some of the people were talking about. He's just out here capping. Oh, you too old to be capping like that, bro. What is going on?
charity we know that i'm sure you helped a lot of kids in your life but why in the blue hell are you still telling this fake story about some dead kid at wembley stadium like yo it takes two seconds to find out that you've never wrestled there bro why, why are you doing this Ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan needs to be stopped. And I know what you're going to say. <laughs> it's too late. It is who he is. It is what it is. But guys, it's bad and it's getting bad. Like, I know he's been lying for a long time, but I thought by now he would have stopped. But when I saw him on the Joe Rogan podcast, my jaw was on the floor. There is nothing. There is absolutely nothing that Hogan hasn't lied about. He might be the worst liar the world has ever seen. I think we're all aware by now of the legendary story that Hogan has told many times about he was very close to becoming a bass player for Metallica. Yes, Hogan almost became a bass player, apparently for one of the most successful rock bands of all time. I played bass guitar and I was a big pal of the Lars Ulrich and uh, you know what dude, he asked me if I wanted to play bass with Metallica in their early days but uh, it didn't really work out. Yeah Hulk, your big pal also said in an interview a few years ago that he has never met you in his life. I'm telling you, some wow. of these Hogan lies are so crazy, I cannot- Just imagine you sit up here and be like, yeah. He told me I could be the bass guitarist, man, but, you know, it, it just didn't work out with the scheduling. And then the guy that you're talking about, like, I've never met this guy. I know who he is. I've just never met this guy. So I don't I don't know what he's talking. This is this is actually beyond sad. I believe this stuff actually came out of his mouth like he has to be trolling. Hogan once said that he was offered to fight on the first ever UFC card. Yes, apparently back in 1993, this guy right here was considering fighting for real. We looked at it and it was very violent and the referees weren't stopping the matches and letting guys get beat up when they should have been stopped. Hogan said, we just didn't want to have any part of it. Oh, okay, Hulk, my bad, my bad. It, it was the violence in the referees, right? <laughs> uh, it turns out the co-creator of the UFC came out and flat out said, I call bullshit on Hulk Hogan. Any truth to Hulk Hogan saying he had a chance to compete in UFC? <laughs> I call BS on Hulk Hogan. I never wanted him in the original UFC. Who did he talk to? Not me. But hey, 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 Hogan did once say that back mm. in the 70s, he used to wrestle against pride fighters and they would shoot on him, meaning fight him for real. So maybe the Hulkster did have a little MMA experience, right? I mean, pride was a Japanese MMA promotion and he's saying that he fought against them back in the 70s. Uh, the only issue is pride fighting championships was founded in 1997. Maybe if we lived in a time period back in like the 80s and the 90s where, you know, even maybe early, early, you know, 2000s, you may be able to get away with saying such false statements. But in the year of 2023, where everything is at your fingertip, we're just checking your phone, going to a computer. Everyone has some type of technological device where they can fact check stuff. Come on, bro. What is this? What the actual F is this? Hogan versus Andre is one of the most legendary matches in wrestling history. The night where Hogan slammed Andre the Giant in front of 90,000 fans and uh -huh. shook the wrestling world. Well, the night only gets even more legendary when you hear Hulk Hogan, what he has to say about the night. Yo, every time Hogan tells a story about this night, it just gets even more cracked out. Every time he tells a story, <laughs> it seems like Andre just gets fatter and fatter and he just gains a few hundred pounds every yeah. time. Sometimes he tells a story, Andre was 500 pounds. Another time he was 600 pounds. Mm -hmm. At one point he was 800 pounds pounds and just to add a little more spice hogan loves telling people that going into this match he didn't know if andre was going to cooperate and that he didn't know the finish of the match going in yeah hogan i'm sure i'm sure you went into the main event of wrestlemania not knowing what the <laughs> hell was gonna happen but my favorite my absolute favorite hogan lie regarding andre has to be the one time he said how he slammed andre at wrestlemania and a few days later andre passed away i wrestled andre the giant with these boots on and then a couple days later, he passed on. These are my favorite pair of boots. Hulk, WrestleMania 3 was in 1987. Andre died in 1993. What the f are you talking about? Hulk Hogan <laughs> once claimed. I knew that wasn't right because I was like, wait, he didn't die right after that one. What happened here? I'm confused. That back in his heyday, he would wrestle 400 times in a year. And I know what you're saying, Pav. 
There are only 365 days in a year. Well, I, I don't know what you want me to tell you, but Hogan claimed that since he traveled so frequently between the United States and Japan, the time difference and going back and forth on the same day made the 400 days a possibility. Yo, what kind of brother science is this? What? Man? But nah, it gets better. What about that one time the Undertaker tombstoned Hogan on a chair and Hogan complained that he broke his neck and that he was gonna die and the Undertaker's unsafe and that this is the worst day of his life. He's injured forever. He can't wrestle. And then everyone went back and watched the tape and you realized his head never hit the ground. Like As it shouldn't. Like it, that's the thing. It's, it's, it really is more impact on on the person that's giving the tombstone your head should never hit the ground it's supposed to look like it you are but it, your head should never hit the ground so and we all know the undertaker is you know a pretty safe worker so and this is early in the undertaker's career so it's just like what are we doing here like it never hit the chair really hogan Hogan has also made this claim. This is probably the funniest one. He made a claim that one night in Japan in 1983 when he was wrestling Antonio Inoki, he beat up Inoki so bad, mind you, it's a fake wrestling match, <laughs> that he beat up Inoki so bad that Inoki almost died in the match and Hogan, Hogan brought him back to life by doing CPR. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, there are just so many stories. There's so many things he takes credit of. He's like, I, just... I discovered The Undertaker. I discovered The Big Show. I discovered Kevin Owens. This guy even said on the Joe Rogan podcast a few weeks ago that when Brock Lesnar was in high school, he was quote unquote keeping an eye on him on his wrestling career. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Hogan was keeping tabs on a high school wrestler from fucking South Dakota in yeah okay it's it's getting kind of out of hand maybe he has some truth to some of these stories but some of these just sound quite outlandish it's you might as well just say hulk hogan he scouted everybody that's a big star in wrestling in the past and in the future <laughs> he was the one that found roman reigns <laughs> 1999 but better yet after that hogan even says he was the first to wrestle brock when he came out of the ufc in 2012 guys guys what? please tell me does this look like hulk hogan to anyone please, please. why did he say that How? did he really say that there's no fucking way he said that there's no way i'm gonna have to check out some of these clips from this podcast there's no way he said that absolutely no way he said that come on y'all no way please let me know because there is no way this guy can actually be serious i really think that hogan is convinced that he's forrest gump like yo if there's anything of significance that has ever taken place somehow hogan was there somehow hogan was involved i wouldn't be surprised if he sees this video and says you know i don't, I don't know dude i don't know why he turned on me brother five years ago i, I told him to start the whole youtube channel it's really insane and i can't <laughs> wait for the interview to drop soon where hogan's gonna tell the world that he was almost a new york yankees player or something you you gotta be shitting me bro wait wait it's wait, so wait, fun, wait, bro, wait. That he was almost a new york yankees i hit more home runs than anyone hulk hogan once claimed that he was scouted by the new york Na all right bro player or something you you gotta be shitting me bro it's so funny but it's so sad and to this day in 2023 he's still doing it he's still at it why bro you are 70 years old there is no reason to do this anymore hulk hogan needs to be stopped the man is 70 years old and let's be real he has probably what 10 15 years left and instead of spending them lying about almost being in metallica tell us the real stories of your career because that's what we want to hear yeah. i've never seen anything like this in my life hulk hogan the biggest pro wrestler of all time is also the biggest liar of all time and honestly what a perfect combination what a lifestyle in the comments down below please let me know what are your favorite hulk hogan lies of all time whether they're in the video or not let me know down below because we gotta let these stories live on so at this point this is all we have from hulkster and like yo who knows maybe in 70 years people might actually believe this stuff like yeah, yeah ufc1 featuring hulk hogan <laughs> like what it's your boy pav aka wrestling gifts i hope you guys enjoyed this yeah man this was insanity. I, I, I just, I just refuse to believe he actually said he was the first person to wrestle Brock after his UFC return. There's no way. I watched that Monday Night Raw. I didn't see a lick of Hulk Hogan there. I, I, I didn't see him there, y'all. No Hulk Hogan in sight. I remember when Brock came out there and attacked John Cena. I don't remember seeing Hulk Hogan there. So, um, yeah, 
comment down below let me know do you guys want me to check out some clips from that podcast just to see the insanity that hulk hogan was talking about because i may have to see this for myself like i said i did hear that he was out here just capping and lying but i wasn't sure how bad it was and from what wrestling gifts is saying it's quite awful so ready to check this well if you guys want me to check it out i definitely will let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace